Welcome. In this video, we're going to do an unboxing of Beetle and Grimm Silver Edition for Dungeons and Dragons Icewind Dale Rime of the Frost Maiden. So, in addition to traditional tabletop games, I sometimes delve into some role playing. So, this is Beetle and Grimm's Silver Edition. Take a look at the box until it's packed full. So, this will be my first look into this. Have not run this adventure, kind of waiting for things to settle in the world so we can get the good group together. So inside, got some nice big air bubbles and a quick flyer, letter to the dear brave adventure. We've never run a 20th level monk, but we imagine being rescued by one would be pretty damn cool. All right, so what's in this box? For the book, looks like instead of one big book, They've cut it down into six shorter books. We're getting a DM screen, some campaign maps, battle maps, in-world handouts, custom jewelry and artifacts, counter cards and bonus art, bonus encounters, pre-gen characters, and other helpful game aids. Very nice. So this is my first look at a Beetle Grimm, so I was very curious about what all you get in these. So, got several things we're going to have to cut out. We'll start with this. So, this looks like all the different characters we're going to get. And what's nice about those, looks like we can put those on top of our DM screen. So, the players can see what beast they're about to fight. And we've got all the stats for the character on the other side, or the beast. So we've got the Shardlin Dragon. Big B's hands. And like I said, I haven't played this. You shouldn't be much spoilers unless you're gonna pause and start reading into things. So we've got a disaster coming up. Nice Yeti. Sun Blight. Some Happy Dwarves. The Twingas. An Ice Stroll. Second form of Oriel. Another form. Nice owl bear. Some verbeeg. Berserkers. The final version of a real. A ghost. A gnome. A snow golem. Happy creature, a Yeti Tyke, Kobold Zombies, a Yeti, a Tomb Tapper, Cod Roth, a King Sport. Bellix, a gnome squidling, Icewind Kobold, a Frost Druid, Galvin. Like I said, I'm flipping through these things. I don't think you're going to get anything more than if you open up the book and started flipping through the pages. But just curious that everything you get in this, and I think this is a great idea for putting over your DM screen. There we go. It's a nice ride, the white dragon. The Goliath Werebear. A 
Knoll Vampire. Nice giant skeleton. A cat. And the last one, another fighter. And this looks like a bunch of maps and handouts. So just a fold out letter. And a scorecard. Nice flavor here. And assume if you're a player, you might not want to look at some of these. A nice fold out map. And this is some heavier textured paper. It's a good map of the world we're going in. Nice sport goat ball. A secret letter from someone. Parchment. Some more parchment. Nice flyer. There we go. Just a whole lot of flavor to add to the game. And this looks like a larger map of the area that you get in the normal book. Once again, this is a heavier textured type of paper. So this is just a better printing of what you get in the normal book of the game. Another spoiler of one of the caves we'll be entering. I'll just slide that up through real quick. Once again, this is also done with the heavier parchment paper. Dual sided. Another pamphlet. Advertisement. Come and be amazed by the 20 stones of throne. And some more character. I think these are the pre-gens for a human sorcerer. Goliath Barbarian. Half-Elf Druid. Drow Rogue. And a Dwarf Cleric. And looks like I've got some handouts for each of the towns separate. We've got East Hayden, or Haven. Bremen, of course their coat of arms, Targos, of course they can take their town notes if you're nice enough to let people write on your stuff, Lonely Wood, Tourmaline, Dwarf 
Dugan's Hole. Good Mead. Here, Danival. And our last town. And then just some more artwork. And these do fold up to bonus encounters. Another bonus encounter. And another one. And we've got our books broken out into, our chapters broken out into separate books. So this book is for chapter one. It's going to have everything from the core book. Like I said, just split out so it's easier for us to get through it. Another book going through different towns. So depending on which town we're looking for. Chapter two, Icewind Dale. Chapter three, four, and five. Chapter six and seven. and an appendix. And we've got our DM screen. So what the players will see, try to get that without too much glare. And of course our side. So we've got a character guide. How to pronounce everyone's name, random wilderness encounters, rumors, dealing with the extreme cold, frigid water, slippery ice, and thin ice, small map, how long travel takes to the different places, and different conditions. And lastly, these are more artworks, looks like fold out so we can put them on the DM screen if we're trying to get some artwork for our group. And just from skimming through the regular book, this is just copies of art from that. Characters will definitely be heading out into the cold. Some nice dinner, I guess. Feeding his baby dragons. Adventures on the other side. Frozen water adventures. Some 
lot of extra art. Get near the end here. Not only some fire, some warmth at least. And the last one. And for our jewelry, got a Chardolin Amulet. Very nice. And for an artifact, got a Dragon Token. And that is going to be everything in Beetle and Grimm's Silver Edition for Icewind Dale. As always, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. So please click on the like button below and be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.